Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and today we're taking a quick look at a game in development called Enoch, Children of Fate. Now this is something that popped up on my radar about six months ago, uh, and I'm just getting around to playing the demo. So, uh, if this is your first time here on Yak Wax Lips, this is the kind of thing that I do. I just cover purely point and click adventure games, um, old ones, new ones, etc. So if you love to point and click, make sure that you do so over that like, hit subscribe for more, and turn on the bell because I release loads of adventure games and you don't want to miss any. I don't release adventure games, I release adventure game videos. And you don't want to miss any. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Enoch, Children of Fate comes from Evil Pug Games, and I think it might be their first game. And like I say, it's in development. I don't know anything about it. So if you like the look of it, I will leave the, the leave the details down in the description. Um, I got this version of the demo from Steam. I'm not sure if you can get it elsewhere. Uh, but if you go ahead to Steam and wishlist it, that will help the devs out. And I must start this by saying uh, it is a demo, so things are subject to change. I also only ever play about 20 minutes of a demo, so if it goes on longer, um, tough. Go and play it yourself and find out what happens. Uh, let's click start and let's go. Fed up of our home planet's pollution? Living on Mars and getting claustrophobic in the underground cities? A new life awaits you in the Lioness Space Systems colonies. Thanks to Lioness, human civilization can spread away from the limitations of old Earth. Two cylinders whose rotation simulates comfortable 1G gravity. Fresh air in the countryside, cultural activities, and jobs for everyone in the cities. Join us on Enoch, our first station and get rich mining ore in the asteroid belt. Linus Space Systems, a dazzling future for you. A dazzling future. I guess that was the plan. I live in Cylinder B, but the locals call it the cesspit. The less respectable of the two cans that protect us from the vacuum. Enoch, humanity's last refuge. This is how we escaped our solar system. But we certainly didn't escape our old demons. Just this morning, I was called to a crime scene. A minor gang leader who'd been shot. I can tell you that, like a lot of cases involving gangs, we won't be investigating for very long. We don't have the budget, we don't have the resources, and, if you want my opinion, we have better things to do. Shit! I ironed these trousers less than a week ago. It rains 90% of the time in Cylinder B. The weather systems haven't been serviced since before I was born. And here we go, the controls are left click to walk, interact, and right click to examine. To access the inventory and your notes, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Once an inventory item is selected, you can right click to deselect it. You can double click to any location to run directly to it, and you can press and hold spacebar to show interactable hotspots. Okay, cool. Um, there has been quite a lot of... Um, Cyberpunk spacey games come out in the past couple of years, so yeah, already it, uh, it's reminiscent of Born Punk and um, the Sun Dew and Chinatown Detective Agency. However, they're all good games, so that's not a bad thing. So let's see how Enoch compares. There's a rat in that box. Rats are maybe the happiest residents of the cesspit. A dumpster. When I was old, my friend Ben got his ass beaten by other kids and ended locked up in one of those. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Energy, energy fast pills, pliers, and telephone. What's in the notes? Enter the building. Well, let's just do that. Okay, this is it, I think. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh, hello. Oh. I didn't see you there. Your first crime scene? Yes. 
Sorry, detective. <laughs> At least he didn't throw up on my shoes. Not like Detective Nakanaga the first time I met him. Scheiße. <laughs> ah, you'll be telling the story until the day you retire. So, you want to work or do you prefer to chit chat? Let's go. So, that's a lot of bodies. Hello, detectives. Hello, Zacchaeus. So, bring us up to speed. This is the hideout of a small gang, and they've been... Slaughtered. You're damn right. Which gang are we talking about? No tattoos or distinctive markings. I'm guessing it's a gang that runs with Bat 42. Bat 42, with the Ninth Eye and the Dragons, is one of the three main cesspit gangs. They came out on tops after the food riots and ensuing fighting ten years ago. A fragile peace between them has only happened recently, and the years of warring are still remembered, vividly. The captain will be able to tell us more. She should be here soon. Great. <sighs> Try acting like an adult. Okay. I'll do my best. What's the current body count? A total of four. There are three here. Gunned down during the shooting, as you can clearly see from the bits of them spread all over the walls. So that's three of them. You said there were four bodies? Three dead in the initial attack. The last one, well... He died... differently. Feel free to take a look. In the bedroom to my left. I'm gonna check out the bedroom. You look around here, okay? Yep. Okay, so we're into another scene. Um, it's very talky. So far I've moved from outside to inside. Um, but let's have a look at all these a things. A tattooing kit? But why? What happens if I right click on it? A tattooing kit? Nothing. But he... Caucasian male, around 30 years old, blonde hair. Killed by bullet wound. There's a WCZ-44 pistol next to him. Looks like he tried to defend himself. He was shot at from the balcony, which explains the smashed patio door. The weapon's digital counter shows 14 bullets. The standard magazine holds 15. So he shot once before being killed. Well done, detective. I haven't had time to look for the bullet yet. Perhaps you could help. I guess that's... Oh, that's oh. kind of a bit... Oh, ooh, what's going on there? Didn't get any sleep again last night. My head's spinning. Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. So we've got to find a bullet. That's a cool fish tank. I like that. Let's look at this guy. African male. Around 20 years old. Dark hair. Killed by bullet wound. He wanted to protect himself with the machine pistol that's next to him, but I'm guessing he didn't have time to use it. Good deduction, detective. From the angle of his fall, it looks like he was shot at from the front door. So, oh, I'm going woozy oh. again. I need a pick-me-up. Have a drink. Go have that drink. Oh, I can't click on the drink. That's annoying. Uh, so, he shot out, presumably, at the patio door. And someone was coming out of the door. I don't know. Upturned, upturned chair. chair. Hmm. There are straps on the arms of the chair to tie someone down. Hmm. That reminds me of an evening with a special friend of mine. <laughs> too much information? A little bit much. Way too much. Right. Let's go. Oh, well, let's have a look at this this one guy. Why Caucasian not? Caucasian male, around forty years old. A tattoo on his arm. A sword with wings around it. The distinctive mark of the Ninth Eye. One of the three main gangs of the cesspit. He's the only one here with gang tattoos and we're far away from the Ninth Eye's headquarters. What was he doing here? The real question is, did he just happen to be here or was he one of the attackers? The Ninth Eye openly attacking Bat 42? If I had to paint that scene, I'd call it Shit's gonna hit the fan. This could make the gang wars kick off again. 
We just have to hope that the leaders of Bat-42 keep a cool head. Otherwise, this could end with thousands dead. The problem is, the gang leaders are more like hotheads, not cool heads. Ugh. It's like the world's a big merry-go-round. It could almost be fun if I didn't feel so sick. Cool. Let's go. Thanks for closing the door. Stop stress. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My words, exactly. Ha ha ha. What was the ladder? Sit here. Let's, let's look at the this sit here. Nasty neighborhood. Squatters, drug addicts, gangs. Yeah, well, it's not like the real estate is flourishing elsewhere in Cylinder B either. I can't see a damn thing. It's too dark. It's too dark. Do I have my torch? There's a fire escape ladder here. Now I know where the attackers from the balcony came from. What? Oh, let's call someone. There's no one I have to. There's no one I have. To There's no one I have to call at the moment. Okay. Um. There's a fire escape ladder here. Now I know where the attackers from the balcony came from. Can I go up it? There's an overflowing ashtray and an empty bottle of beer. Nothing very interesting. Okay, uh, let's go back in then. Um, bottles. Anything else? I don't want to put bottles. bottles. Spirits, liquors, wines. Most of them are the cheap sort, seaweed based. But some, some are the real stuff. The pricey stuff. Back in the days, I would have seized them. As evidence, you know. But back in the days, I wasn't looking for quality. I was looking for quantity. Ugh. I must have some pills in my pocket. Do you? Does she? She does. Ah, that's better. Okay. Um. So look in the closet. Oh, security camera. Hold the phone. Security Looks camera like right a there. Door. It's locked. Perhaps we can break it open. Go for Don't it. Don't you think you should try the key first? No. Ah, yes. Probably. Is there a key? Do we have a key? Let's have a look at the security, security camera. camera. We have to find the recordings. They'll tell us more about what happened here. Is there a key? Right it's click on it. It's going to be complicated using my bare hands. Okay. So we don't have a key. We do, we, we do have players, though. No. <laughs> An HD TV. TV. Would look good in my apartment. Have you noticed it's full of bullet holes? Hmm. All things considered, I don't need a new one. All right, let's go into the bedroom. Oh, my word. Oh. I mean, I try and make this a family channel, but yeah. Warning. Clothes on the floor, overflowing paper bin, and a lot of alcohol bottles. This fellow is... was... a messy one. Not that I'm in any position to judge. My apartment is a biotope of its own. String bean over there is John Nakanaga. My partner for the past three years. Good sense of humor. Very professional. Saved my skin more than once. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm transfixed by your taut athletic build. <laughs> so, what do you think? Rough case. <laughs> Talk about the understatement of the year. Alright, so we've got some dialogue options. Who's the body? Who's the body on the bed? That Malacca spread out on the bed. Ugh, and parts of the carpet, too. Goes by the name of Leon Stuzinski, the boss of that bunch of clowns that were all killed. And according to his file, he turned 45 today. Hmm, being murdered? Not the kind of surprise I'd want my birthday. Alright, have you noticed anything particular? Have you noticed anything in particular here? Nope. I've just taken his prints and put them into the system. 
Okay. What do you think I should do? Search his pockets. Check the nightstand and wardrobe in case there's something. Check whatever he can in the room. The standard routine. You know. <laughs> he looks gross, though. It was gooey. And how are Gladys and the kids? Oh, they're well, but I already told you, you alone have the key to my heart, Mina Lieber. <laughs> you know, you should come by and eat with us sometime. They'd love to see you. And it would make a change for you. I'll try. I promise. Uh, I'm gonna carry on. Right, I'm going to carry on. Okay. Right, first things first, I'm gonna look through the wardrobe. Clothes and shoes. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, really? I just shoot it automatically. Well. Wow. Clothes on the floor, overflowing paper bin, and a lot of alcohol bottles. This fellow is... was. Not that I'm in any... My yeah. apartment is a biotech. We've done that bit. Alright, let's have a look at this um, mess. Blonde male. Approximately 40 years old, judging from, well, what's left of his face. Killed by a bullet to the back of the head. His hands are tied behind his back. A textbook execution. He must have really pissed someone off. Anything in his pockets? Ah, a key. Aha. Uh -huh. No doubt. To the, um, the closet. I'm just going to go straight to it. No point in looking around. Alright, use that key with the closet. I can't do anything with it. What? It's going to be complicated using my bare hands. I don't want to use bare hands. I want to open the... That's annoying. I thought it was... I don't see anything special about it. Well, maybe it's not to, to the closet then. Is it not a keyhole anywhere? No. No. Alright, well let's talk to this guy. So, what's your take on this case? Based on the evidence, I think it was a coordinated attack. The attackers were at the entrance door and on the terrace at the same time. It's up to you to find out all the details. But we're talking about gangs here, so I don't know if that's important. Um, what's your... Is that what I just asked? What's your take? So what... Based on the evidence... Yeah. The attacker... Okay, blah, 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 done that. It would be nice for this to be greyed out, to say that we've already said it. Do we know anything else about the victims? Our friend next to the door here is a member of the Ninth Eye. As for the rest, they're all from some low-level gang. They don't have a clan name or a symbol like the Big Three has. There's not much info about their activities in our files. Alright, okay. Any idea when it happened? Judging from the temperature of the bodies, it was barely a few hours ago. That's everything for now. See you soon, Detective. See you soon, Detective. Right, what have I got here? Pliers, telephone, I don't need to call anyone. Have I looked around everywhere? I haven't actually looked at the FaceTime yet. Real, but the fishes? Eh, I don't think so. Bullet holes. Bullet holes. Hundreds of them. The attackers didn't hold back. Do you think you're funny? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. I was going to say, that was a little bit callous. There's several dead people around. Um, notes. Find the bullet, find the CCTV recordings. Right, okay. Where could the bullet be? Let's Real look plants, at the plants. Not plastic. The owner has money. Um... So if this guy was here and he would have shot through here, so the bu the bullet has to be over here somewhere. Sink. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there's the captain. Ah, oh, Arten. Could you bring me up to speed? That was weird. I didn't even click on that. I just hovered over it as soon as I saw it, and then it turned to this. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Captain Zinnia Bergier always looks super smart. Rumor has it that her family tree goes all the way back to the French aristocracy on Old Earth. A real contrast to her tattoos from a gang that doesn't exist anymore. She spent a year undercover getting enough proof to convict them. 
Her first-hand knowledge of the inner workings of gangs is really useful for our investigations. She's the captain of the Cesspit's criminal department. And, coincidentally, my ex. What do we know about this gang? What Anything? Do we know about this gang? What do we know? Mm, it's a pretty good gang, not like the big ones. <laughs> They're more like freelancers. However, they work for Bad 42 as their reapers. Reapers are the ones that supply fresh meat for the gangs. The youngsters came willingly, enticed by the promise of a life of adventure and debauchery, or unwillingly if they weren't dumb enough to swallow all the lies. I've run into this kind of scum too often, and humanity would be better off without them, if you ask me. Alright. What have I learned here? Ninth Eye Victim. The body against the wall is one of the Ninth Eye. The question is, what was he doing here? Wrong place? Wrong time? Was he involved in the attack? Who knows? That's my job to find out. How are you? Oh, merde, our turn. We've already talked about it. But I'm fine, really. Lots of work. And what about you? Sleeping better? Yeah. Baby steps, right? Good. Good. That conversation wasn't awkward at all. Right, I'm going to carry on. Alright, we'll have a look at this. Single bullet hole. I can't get the bullet out with my bare hands. Well, that's why we have some pliers. Shouldn't be a problem if I use the pliers. Slowly. Careful. There you go. Boom. Bullet. Forensic evidence. Okay, cool. So, the only thing I have to do now is find the CCTV recordings. But... I'm going to leave that one up to you guys because I'm going to finish the demo right here. I played it for about 20 minutes and it's been interesting. It's been fun. I feel like this is a game that you're going to have to really sit down and pay attention to because there's a lot of information to take in that's very dialogue heavy. Um, it's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've liked it. Great pixel art. Very, um, good voice acting. And. Not exactly puzzles as such yet, but who knows? It's a demo. Um, I have no other news on this, so I have no idea how far along in development it is. Um, I don't know whether there's a Kickstarter coming along the way. I know literally zero. Um, all I know is that um, this demo is out there. So like I said, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description for you. Um, head on over there to wishlist it on Steam. And also, if you really love um, what I do, and if you really love adventure games and would like to support me even more, then I do have my own Patreon where um, I get... I uh, I put all your names at the end of a video and also keep you up to date with what's going on in the adventure game world um, and stuff like that. So if you want to support me, it's just £3 a month. I only have the one tier because I can't be bothered with anything else. And yeah, so that's my little plug about myself. And of course, follow me on all the socials, etc., etc. Just type in Yak Wax Lips and I'll be there for you. I don't know where that came from. Um, but yeah, expect that kind of nonsense through most of my videos, to be honest. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.